We'll get straight into it. The first one, number one, football is one of the most demanding, if not the most demanding team sports. And it can be quite simple to, to think that you need to be good at everything. I'd be really clear on focusing on what your talents are, what are you, what's your one wood, what's your strengths, and really focus on being elite at least one of them. For the, for the guys that I've been lucky enough to work with, Sue Rioli, Cosy Pickett, for them it's pretty obvious their speed, their pressure, their foot skills, their agility, their acceleration, so that uh, ability to go from um, their you know, up to 90% of speed really, really quickly, that quickness is elite. So for them, we'd be focusing on sharpening that. Number two, create a training schedule that works around your fixed schedule that you can do on a weekly basis to work on those strengths. For example, if you play on a Saturday, you've got your training sessions on Tuesday, Thursday. So there's three days that are fixed, your Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So work around those. Example be for a, a Saturday game. Monday might be an upper body strength day and you do some handball, ground ball type of craft. Tuesday is your training day. Wednesday might be your lower body strength day for the week, and you practice goal kicking. Thursday is your main training session for the week. Friday, you might do a total body power session uh, and some extra touch with a coach. Saturday is game day. Sunday is more recovery-based focus session, uh, and you might review, and, and hopefully your game is being filmed, so you're reviewing the tactical and technical side on how you can improve um, your ability to, to perform on the game that just happened the day before. Tip number three, have a support team around you. So I'm a strong believer in not trying to do everything yourself. Uh, the best world-class athletes all have coaches. They all have a support team around them, both medical, uh, technical, as well as a, a close-knit um, crew of people that they trust and respect. So have, know who those people are. Know who the people that might pull you away from your goal and your dream that, that distract you and so have an understanding of who's helping you towards your goals and living the lifestyle you need to do to, to be elite um, and make sure you're sticking around those that are supporting you for your goals. So have an athletic development program that's specific to football, like our online strength and conditioning program. If you're not in a um, in the NAB League and you're not in the AI squad where you've got access to elite programs, make sure you seek one out yourself and invest in a program like ours. We've got a two-week free trial, so you can join that to see what that's like. The workout, which I promised on an elite AFL standard strength and conditioning, uh, conditioning program and aerobic session, should only take you 30 minutes. The key with these is be strict with the rest periods because we're working for an aerobic stimulus, the tempo-based running program. Make sure you stick to these rest periods and running targets. So you'll do a warm-up and some drilling Okay, so head over to our YouTube channel for warm-up um, technique videos if, you have, if you're not sure how to do that, as well as mobility exercises. There's a playlist there. And then you go into 10 100-meter efforts every 30 seconds. So you want to stick to 20 seconds, 20 second pace and then have 10 seconds rest. Then you'll have one-minute recovery, go into a four-minute run, and you aim to get over 1,100 meters. Okay, so you're moving just a little bit slower than what you did at your 100-meter pace. 